hi everybody this is Julissa thank you so much everyone for coming back to my channel today is Saturday the second day of June July excuse me 2022 I had to come here and speak about this okay um this is gonna be a different type of video <laughs> let me just start by saying that um it's not not breaking news nothing like that but in in a sense it could be breaking news because here's the thing I feel like something is shifting and it and I see it happening and I feel like there's going to be a lot more preachers coming out and saying things um, for what it is. So what I'm referring to. So I recently learned that this um, preacher, Creffel Dollar, I'm sure you guys recognize who he is. I'm going to try to put the video, part of the video, um, at the end of this video. So stay tuned for that. So he was speaking about six days ago, about a week ago, right, on his church. I think it was last Sunday. He was talking about his to his church and he humbly said that the teaching that he's giving basically his entire life regarding tithes and offering using you know based on the bible um were wrong it was the wrong interpretation okay and here's the thing though we know what is that other preacher the other famous preacher came out a couple years ago and said the same thing okay and here's the thing um you know, Creffel Dollar, and I'm going to, you know, if you can look on his YouTube channel and watch the whole thing, um, he gave a great explanation and he actually apologized, okay? And he said he, he's growing, he's learning, and basically he said that all his teaching that he have given about tithes were wrong. Okay, and let me tell you, for somebody like Grefo Dollar to come out and say that, that to me is huge in the Christian community. And this is the reason why I feel like there's going to be a lot more other preachers coming out. Okay, um, there was another famous preacher. What is his name? The one that does a lot of the, um, uh, let me see if I can just find, um, I believe his name is, uh, uh, Billy Hen, I'm not sure exactly, but um, let me see. I'm sorry, I should have that. Not not Bill Graham, but um, another one that came out. I don't have his name right now, but he came out a couple years ago. And he said that the prosperity gospel. He was preaching the prosperity gospel. And here, let me just tell you that because I have my doubts when it came to tithes. Okay, now. Okay, the Bible is very clear. And you guys have seen me come here on YouTube and do a lot of videos on a daily basis with Bible verses. I am reading the Word of God more and more than ever. Okay, thanks be to God for that. Because a lot of the times, here's what happened. We don't do our own um, reading ourselves. We basically leave it up to whatever is being taught at the church on Sunday on Wednesday night. And that's what we get and that's what we do. You have to read the Word of God. You have to read the Word of God. You have to seek guidance. You have to understand and ask God for, for guidance and, and allowing you to understand. I couldn't understand because let me tell you, I went to school. I had a lot of days when I graduated from college and there were so many days, so many years where I would be like, man, if I give this tie, I have like nothing left. Okay, but then you will speak with like family members, okay, and you will speak with like, you will hear preaching about it, and right, they do this right before they ask for the offering, right, and it will be like, man, I just feel so unworthy, you know, if I decided to, you know, I, I want to keep the $40 just for gas this week, I, you know, instead of putting it on a credit card, I always felt like, I was like, Cheating God, okay, and because they always use that verse, you know, you, you, you robbers, you being how we, you know, they, they asked Jesus how we have been robbing you, and said enticing offerings, and why he, he's talking to the Jews, okay, and how the Jews were keeping that law of the tithes, but not every law, okay, and the thing is like we are no longer under the law, thanks to Jesus Christ, we're no longer under the law, okay, so. If you break, I mean, there's another verse I read not long ago in one of the shorts that I did here. You know, it, it talks about, you know, if you break one of the law, you're breaking, you're guilty of all of them. 
okay so jesus came so that we have grace okay we're living under grace and that doesn't mean that you know we don't give you know that doesn't mean any of that all i'm saying is like a lot of the times man you have to read the word of god for yourself and ask god for guidance so what credit for dollar just did about seven days ago guys like i said to me it's amazing okay because he was criticized years ago and people are going to criticize him even more now because they, they're going to say you know he was like buying uh you know a plane he was buying cars houses all of that stuff and then you know but this man thanks be to god you know because beside all of that you know that was in the past even if it was a month ago that was still in the past this is what he's talking about her right now okay he's saying that god talked to him and he said you're teaching the wrong you know the wrong interpretation when it comes to tithes tithes and offerings and let me tell you something i can only speak from my experience when it came to that because like I was like, man, the, I had this guilt, you know, about giving. And then there were years where I would be faithfully giving, but I was always in luck when it came to like, uh, you know, ends meets and all, and all of that stuff, you know, trying to pay all of the stuff that was in my play at the end of the month. And I'm like, man, but I'm always giving. And you say, like, wait a second, like, what are we doing? Why are we put so much fear into people? Like, God is not going to hold a blessing from you and be like, she's asking, like, imagine God. Like, God is not a genie. Like, people think that by giving, giving money, like, he's going to be like, okay, you deserve this. And that's what the church has made us believe, okay? That is what the church has made us believe. I had, I saw this guy, man, oh my goodness, God is reminding me. I saw this before, maybe around 2012, 2013, when I started changing in my whole detour about, you know, modest clothing and all of that, which is another thing that I'm going to talk about, okay? Um, like, we, when it comes, let me just make a parenthesis here. When it comes to dressing modestly, modestly you do it because you have because you you feel led to do so just because somebody's not dressing modestly that doesn't mean that 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 person is is not like it's not like a child of god okay everybody comes to you know everybody's walking a different you know everybody have their own walk and their own time I mean, that's the thing with people like you you see the eyes you know i used to go to this church years ago and the minute somebody would walk in with the minister like like you already see that person going straight to hell and it's like that's so wrong for us to be judging like that okay my whole thing you guys know i'm a fashion designer with everything that i do yes i try my best to do create mother modest clothing you know but my i think god is shifting I, I totally see a transition coming you know i think i'm in transition as i'm speaking right now and i feel like yes i'm you know my effort for with my clothing line is to create modest clothing and also more more than modesty is to share the gospel of jesus christ right but here's the thing you know and god is speaking to me right now to just because i see somebody being all sexy and whatever that doesn't mean that god doesn't love them okay that's all religion that's all trying to be under the law and all of that stuff and that man there's a world out there who feel like they're not worthy of jesus because of all this belief that we have misinterpreted from the bible and teaching can you imagine yourself giving all you have out of fear when god loves a cheerful giver that's crazy like what what are, who are these people teaching this to okay you know how much fear i felt you know and like people there are people who are so prideful also on the other hand like there are people who who never miss it you know a tithe who always giving a tithe and they have records and all of that and they feel like they're like on this level they're like right there with god and you're like down here because you don't tie that's pride and we know that god hates pride okay so something is definitely changing in the christian community okay and thanks thanks be to god for the revelation okay i i'm just saying like there have been years like i said when i i couldn't tie okay and then there were years that i would tie and then i would do it a lot of the time out of fear 
because I will hear people like my family talking about it. You know, you're cursed with a curse. You cur like the Holy Spirit is inside of me. Now we're cursing people because they cannot tie. You know how crazy that is. I remember having years ago a conversation with my cousin, and she said, "Well, what happens if you have a debt that you have to pay?" Like, what if you're in trouble with the court? You have to pay. You're going to give it in tithes? Or are you going to take care of a debt that you have to deal with? You know, it's all of this fear, man. Jesus came to fulfill all of that, to put the sin on him, so that we live through grace, through him. And it's time for us to start changing and to start asking God for revelation because something is definitely shifting. We, we're so quick to put judgment on people so quick to do that okay and it's like have compassion for people and like think to understand like the same thing that you think you're better than everybody just because you always give in tie like you like God says you know depart from me from me I never knew you and he's talking to Christians because He's saying, but we, we, we prophesy in your name. We cast demons in your name. Who do you think he's talking to? He's talking to the own Christian community because a non-believer doesn't even know what casting out a demon is. And that's also in the Bible, guys. Okay, so it's just, this is so great. I mean, I, was, I didn't, couldn't even finish listening to everything that Creflo Dollar was saying. And I know people are going to say different opinions about him. I used to watch this man years ago, okay? And watching his teaching, and then somebody would say to me, you know, he, he, has, he lives in a multi-million dollar home. And because he only takes one second for somebody to, like, start putting things, you know, on you. And it's like, okay, whatever. Like, uh, I was like, he's one of those also, and things like that. But to see him come out and say something like this now, to me, that's amazing, okay? And I feel like this is, he's not going to be the first one. I mean, he's, he, he wasn't the first one. I think um, we had another preacher, like I said, came out also about two years ago. And he said something about prosperity gospel and how he feels so bad that he taught on that for many years. Okay, let me just tell you something. Even though, thanks be to God, glory be to God, because I had, like I said before, there were, there were many times that I couldn't afford to tie. And God has given me blessing after blessing. Like, you think you're going to manipulate God? And people will say to you, well, you know, the word of God said he's going to give you a blessing that is going to, you know, you won't have any room to fulfill it. I came here on YouTube and made a video about getting a donation of mannequins where I couldn't even, like, I couldn't even afford to buy one mannequin. One day, this store gave me, like, seven full mannequins. Like, they're like about $700 each. And I couldn't find room here to to keep them during that time you want to know when was the last time I gave a tie I don't even remember I don't even remember if that year at all I gave a tie to the church because God is not God is not good because of you you know like based on what you give to him God is not good the God is not going to be good on that God is good because he loves you because that's who he is God is love okay and he's going to be your father no matter what Okay, now, I'm not saying for you to not be a cheerful giver, okay, to donate, to, to give to somebody in need, nothing like that. Of course not. That would be like crazy for, for you to think that I'm saying that. But I'm saying like to give out of fear is the worst thing. It's like asking for somebody to help you and then they come and they're doing it just like so angry. Like that's the worst type of help that you want to give. When somebody helps you when they're already like upset that they have to help you. The Bible says God, God loves a cheerful giver. So if you're going to give, you know, give, don't give out of fear. And I feel like a lot of all these years, all these preachers have put so much fear, so much fear. I used to go to this church, man, um, some time ago, and this preacher would be like, well, you know, you know the, it's, it's manipulation. I don't even know how to describe it. And it, let me tell you, the, the community in that church was not like, these are hardworking families that they, they didn't have like, you know, they were like lower class working families. They didn't have enough, you know, immigrants, brand new to the country, just building a life here. They didn't have enough. They were looking for work. 
okay living like in, in very bad conditions and this pastor was so like you know you're gonna be cursed with a curse and this thing if you don't give tithes and things like that like oh my goodness jesus wow wow i, I guarantee you guys there's more to come to this um, so I'm gonna see if I can put the video here of Grateful Dollar. Just a small part. Go ahead and look up for it. This video was posted on his channel about seven days ago, six days ago about tights. And I want you guys to watch the whole thing. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel. God bless. I want to start off by saying to you that I'm still growing and that the teachings that I've shared in times past on the subject of tithing were not correct. And today I stand in, in humility to correct some things that I've taught for years and believed for years, but could never under, understand it clearly because I had not yet been confronted with the gospel of grace which has made the difference I won't apologize because if it wasn't for me going down that route I would have never ended up where I am right now but I will say that I have no shame at all at saying to you throw away every book every tape and every video I ever did on the subject of tithing unless it lines up with this. I've, I've done some corrective teaching in the, in, the, in the last 10 years, but not to the degree of what we're getting ready to do now. So why is this important? Because religion is sustained by two factors, fear and guilt. And if it's one subject that the church has used for a long time, to keep people in fear and guilt, it is in that subject of tithing. And it has to be corrected, and it's gotta be corrected now. I may lose some friends, preachers may not ever invite me no more, but I think I've already been through that, so it doesn't matter. my channel please don't forget to subscribe and share this video and i hope to see you in the next video have a great day everybody god bless everybody this is julissa i'm here to invite you to my podcast julissa designs and it can be found on anchor apple podcast and spotify you can join me every day as i make episodes of the latest news real life stories and i also share my favorite bible verse hope to see you then god bless